The special thing about Liverpool is that it is a place which uh, has a very long history in nuclear and particle physics. We are doing instrumentation, we develop detector technologies and we produce and deliver detectors and then we see it all the way through until the results come out and are published. We have a very diverse international team. We are bringing in people from all over Europe and all over the world. We have at any time around 65 uh, graduate students, all of them on uh, fully funded PhDs, in a very large number of international collaborations and at a big number of international labs. The Liverpool Semiconductor Centre has high quality electronics and me mechanics assembly space for building silicon strip and pixel detector systems, mostly for particle physics experiments and nuclear structure physics, but also for R&D and proton therapy. In Liverpool, we also have a workshop with highly skilled staff who specialize in high-tech equipment. They develop the components that we need for our experiments that we would not be able to fabricate in industry, for example. We also have an advanced materials lab with staff who are experts in the design and manufacture of components from composite materials. And currently they are preparing, they are developing a low mass a cylindrical support for the Atlas ITK upgrade. Atlas is one of the two multi-purpose experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. The Liverpool Group is actually involved not only in the exploitation of the data that we have collected, but also in the maintenance of the detector and in the maintenance of the software, which is an important part of the experiment itself. We are actually involved in the precision measurements of the Higgs boson and also in the searches for supersymmetric particles and other new heavy particles and dark matter, of course. LHC B is uh, one experiment located at the LHC. At CERN, I worked in the development of a new silicon detector for LHC B. We will have 52 of these sensors, and we are going to, here in Liverpool, we're going to take these modules, which are these sensors, we're going to assemble them into one big package, and then we're going to move the whole thing to Geneva, and then there we install it in the actual, like around the interaction point in the LHC. The Liverpool Particle Group will be involved in Dune. Dune is going to be one of the biggest, well, the biggest experiment um, that will study neutron interactions. And in particular, they want to understand why matter exists. They're going to have uh, two detectors. One is going to be the near detector in Fermilab. And then the far detector will be in South Dakota in the Stanford lab. I will focus on interactions of the neutrino with matter in SBND. That, will, that, that data will help Dune to have better constraints of the models in the future. The Precision Muon program in Liverpool is a, is a new research area for us. We built 24 tracking stations for the G-2 experiment at Fermilab in the US. And subsequently we joined two more Precision Muon experiments, the Mu-2E experiment, also at Fermilab. And I myself work on a team which works towards the MU3E experiment, which is based at the PSI laboratory in Switzerland. So we're building currently a particle tracking detector out of 50 micron thick HV CMOS pixel detectors. A large part of that detector is being assembled here in Liverpool. Liverpool has a great tradition in building uh, particle physics detectors. Ariadne is really first of its kind to optimize optical liquid argon TPCs technology by bringing photographic capabilities to these detectors. Ariadne is able to take continuous video, if you like, with nanosecond resolution. When we have these beautiful liquid argon interactions, so when particles passing through our detector, then we're able to record them now with high resolution. And it's, it's here in Liverpool, really, we have pioneered this. So atom interferometry is using the quantum mechanical nature and the superpositions of atoms. It does allow us to probe many areas of fundamental physics related to areas such as general relativity and particle physics. Well, one of the UK universities involved with the US programme MAGIS, a 100 metre atom interferometer. 
It's being built in Fermilab as an initial stage and to prove the concept to go on to build a one kilometer device. There's so much of the things that you read about in books came from the labs downstairs and from the people working here on the third floor. The group has a, has a great reputation for being involved both in the technology R&D, the assembly and manufacture of, of detectors, not just getting the best out of our experiments today, but also thinking about you know, what experiments are needed in the future. We will be involved in the next large accelerator-based project and in parallel we have and we will continue to develop a number of smaller projects. Particle Physics Group at Liverpool has always been about innovation, discovery and societal impact through the development of technologies which then go into health, security and other areas. By training and educating the next generation of world leaders in research to the continuation of this human adventure which is curiosity-led research and the attempt to understand the universe and the world around us.